You are welcome to Messiah Revelation Ministry. I encourage you to um, share our videos and uh, please hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when we upload any uh, videos. In today's episode, uh, we are going to talk about um, Africa and Africans um, in the Bible. Uh, does the Bible have any relevance to Africa? Does Africa uh, have any relevance in the Bible? Uh, what is um, the rule of Africa uh, in the end times? Uh, a lot of people um, have said that uh, there's Africa in the Bible, Africans are mentioned in the Bible. My interest in the subject uh, began um, some years ago when I met um, a student. Um, he was then a student in Texas, a Nigerian by name Tuesday Adamo, he did a PhD dissertation on Africa and Africans in the Old Testament. That is the title of a book which he wrote uh, later after he had written his PhD dissertation relating to Africa and Africans in the Old Testament. He has subsequently written a book, Africa and Africans in the New Testament. Uh, in these two books, uh, Professor Tuesday Adamu um, identifies the instances where you can trace Africa and Africans uh, in the Bible, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. We also have to record that the old paintings of biblical characters uh, in the Bible by the Romans reflected um, African images, um, reflecting what the, uh, what the history was like in the first uh, and the second centuries um, after Jesus um, was crucified. Uh, the first century and the second century, and uh, the paintings uh, that were done um, by the Romans is reflected in African images in some of the biblical uh, characters. Um, you also have to see that um, African nations are mentioned uh, in the Bible, particularly Ethiopia and Egypt, uh, two nations that are African nations. And according to research, Ethiopian, the word Ethiopian, um, Ethiopian is mentioned over 40 times uh, in the Bible, uh, which is very significant, um, reflecting the fact that um, Africans uh, have a rule or had a rule in the Bible. And when it comes to uh, geography, before the construction of the Suez Canal, for a long time, um, part of the so-called Middle East were part of um, Africa. And in the, uh, in the past, uh, the map of Africa uh, included part of the Middle East. So what we regard as part of the Middle East now uh, used to be part of the African uh, continent. Um, the Garden of Eden, uh, where was it located? Is it in the Middle East or is it in Africa? There are so many debates about it and, and I encourage you to uh, do your own research to see um, the location of the Garden of Eden. And uh, uh, some people argue that it is in the Middle East and others argue that it is in a place where uh, you can consider that as part of the African uh, continent. Uh, there are so many um, things that are hidden and I believe that um, historians uh, have not been very um, objective in commenting on some of these things. And so, as I'm making this video, there are disputes about 
the location of biblical places, uh, including uh, Jerusalem, uh, including um, the, the, the temple uh, of Solomon, and there are so many uh, disputes going on because of uh, differences in opinion and also because of um, falsification of historical facts, particularly relating to Africa and Africans uh, in the Bible. Um, I came across a research where uh, the author said that somewhere in 1974 there was a discovery of the oldest human remains in Ethiopia. Um, if that research is true, then it means that um, for the first time we saw discovery of the oldest human remains and that confirmed that an Africa um, is or was the home of humanity and that also will support the fact that Africa uh, was very relevant uh, in the Bible and the Bible is also relevant uh, in Africa. Um, we also have to look at the intermingling of the Hebrews and the Africans. And uh, here we can talk about the marriage between Abraham and uh, other people like uh, um, Hagar. And that also supports the relevance of Africa uh, in the Old uh, Testament. Um, not only that, when the sons of Jacob were uh, sent to, when they went to Egypt, um, as a result of the famine, they lived there for a long time. And the Bible is very clear that there was intermarriage between uh, the sons of Jacob and, and Africans. And uh, I can give a few examples. Um, the marriage between Joseph and Asenath, and two of the major um, characters in the Bible, Ephraim and Manasseh, um, you can see that they were born in Africa. Then you also remember uh, Moses, who he was uh, married to, uh, Sephora, an Ethiopian, and the, the, the list goes on. You can um, say so many things about uh, that. So there's no um, dispute that the sons of Jacob, uh, they lived in Africa, and is, there's also no dispute that uh, when talking about Egypt, uh, the pharaohs of Egypt, um, there were black pharaohs in Egypt, and the people in Egypt um, had dark skin, and people referred to the fact that uh, Moses was hidden in Africa, and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, uh, was also hidden in Africa and that fact confirms that uh, the similarities of the people um, in Africa and the sons and daughters of uh, Jacob who uh, went to Africa. In the case of uh, Jesus Christ who was hidden in Africa and in the case of Moses he was also uh, hidden in Africa in Egypt. And, and so I, I will say that Africa um, is mentioned in the Bible as supported by research. I've cited the case of Professor Tuesday Adamo, a Nigerian and, and an authority on that subject. And his book is Africa and Africans in the Old Testament. Another book is Africa and Africans in the New Testament. There's another good book um, from um, Babylon to Timbuktu, and this is a book that uh, is a must read book. Uh, there's another book on Hebraism in West Africa, and that book recalls the linkage between Africa and the Hebrews. And some of the old maps in Africa. Um, even 
um, record um, the kingdom of Judah. The kingdom of Judah um, was located in West Africa. Uh, if you see a map, an old map of Africa with the kingdom of Judah, it means that there used to be a kingdom of Judah. The Judah is, of course, um, one of the children of Jacob. And his tribe is the tribe where Jesus comes from as the lion of the tribe of Judah. So Africa is mentioned in the Bible. Africans are mentioned in the Bible. And, um, uh, and I believe by revelation to me and also as a result of oral tradition coming to me and also by research, um, the sons and daughters of Jacob are scattered uh, all over the world, including the African Americans who are in the United States. Africa is very relevant uh, in the Bible now. Africa has a role in the end times in evangelizing the world, and God has not finished with Africa. You recall the video that I did where I heard a voice saying that the richest nation in the world in the end times will be an African nation. I've not mentioned the name of the nation. The nation is located in West Africa. So in this episode, we have discussed um, the fact that Africa and Africans are mentioned in the Bible and they are biblical characters uh, in the Bible who uh, are Africans or who were Africans and uh, Africans who are descendants of, the, uh, of Jacob, um, they are scattered uh, over the world as a result of historical events, including uh, slavery and the slave trade. Uh, this is Messiah Revelation Ministry. If you are a son or daughter of Jacob, uh, you must know that um, the time will come when um, the lion of the tribe of Judah will come and he will come with healing in his wings and you will be regarded consistent with the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 12. Thank you for this message.